Well, it's been almost a week since Pusha T dropped the napalm bomb, as in the story of Adidon, which was on, it debuted on uh, May 29th last week, last Tuesday. And we have not heard back from Blackface Drake as of yet from a diss track. Now, he put out a statement, which I did a video on, explaining why he did Blackface, which was... It was out of character. It was hilarious. And now that you look back on it, which I did, which I talked about in my previous video, the explanation made absolutely no sense. And it makes it disingenuous because he said himself that he did not experience racism until he reached America as a rapper. So him bringing awareness about black actors struggling to get roles, right? In Canada, when he was casted to be, he was already working in Degrassi at the time. He was already in Degrassi, so he was cool. But doing the whole minstrel show, blackface with the jazz hands, the the uh, the Jim Crow garb, everything was completely fabricated with that explanation. If you put the pieces together, because again. He, according to him, he has not experienced racism until he reached America. So in Canada, racism, according to him, does not exist. <laughs> but um, anyway, um, it's still a lot of stories going around. A lot, I've, I've watched a few uh, videos from other YouTubers and stuff like that. Shout out to Thought Crimes. They have a lot of conspiratorial <laughs> videos about <laughs> who's pulling strings and, um, you know, the, a possible diss track with Wayne that's coming out. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. What, but this just dropped today where uh, Jay Prince, the uh, CEO of rap -A -Lot Records, and um, he was also partially responsible, along with his son, for discovering Drake. So, you know, there is a lot of vested, uh, vested interest in, in Drake, financial-wise. You know, hundreds of millions of dollars at stake for Drake. And I'm talking about all aspects, endorsements, right? And Adidas, you know, um, et cetera, et cetera. Multi-million dollar deals that's on the line regarding Drake and his future. It really is, because that's how pivotal that track Pusha T put out the story of Adidon. It was a flawless execution from top to bottom. Whether or not he was coached by Nas and, and Shy the Prince, <laughs> whatever the case may be, it was a flawless execution from top to bottom. The visuals, the cover art, which is the biggest issue for me. You know, uh, uh, you know, somebody that's quote unquote biracial, but you know, you're, you're classified as black. You're in blackface and that photo has been out for 11 years and you finally address it with the explanation on your Insta stories. And that explanation completely, it, it, it is completely um, fabricated. Number one is <laughs> completely fabricated and completely opposite of what you said about you never experienced racism until you reached America, right? But, you know, Drake has a lot of explaining to do. He already explained the blackface with that with that statement, but he still got to talk about that. He's in a he's in a huge, huge, huge hole that I, I just don't see how he can dig himself out of. But anyway, going back to Jay Prince, Jay Prince uh, had an interview. I believe it was today or recorded yesterday. And he's promoting his book that just came out. Um, it's called The Art of Science of Respect, a memoir of, Jay, of James Prince. Seems interesting, because I'd definitely like to see. I, I, I wouldn't, wouldn't mind copying that book, to be honest. Because this dude, this dude has a, a long line of respect in the game. I mean, him, I would say that uh, Jay Prince is probably one of the most well-respected individuals in hip hop history period you know i put him on the same category as a guy in the boxing game as an al Heyman. if you have never heard of al Heyman, al Heyman 
is a manager slash advisor in boxing. And people like Floyd Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather actually calls uh, Al Heyman his father, right? That's what F Floyd Mayweather says. He calls Al Heyman his father. So that's how much respect guys like Jay Prince and guys like Al Heyman have in their industries. And even 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 uh, Jay Prince uh, got into boxing. He managed he managed Andre Ward. <laughs> you know, so this guy is well respected. But uh, this interview, you know, which I'll play the clip right now and and come back with like my commentary. He basically said that he called he contacted Drake and told him to fall back. It's way too messy out there and to fall back. So I'll play the clip and come back with my commentary here. If I put call respect and uh, I feel like for a man to attack a man's mother, his father, a man that's dying, mm -hmm. I feel it's disrespectful. Very. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if one leave it on a level playing field and I get at you, you get at me, then you know, bring it on. My right. best man win. Right. But to go and, you know, Imagine we got into a fight and I go whoop your mama ass, I go whoop your daddy in the jaw. You know what I mean? Friend. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. you. It's like you don't like hell, but I ain't had nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I call it a, a pig pen mentality. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and I spoke with Drake, you know what I mean? I made an OG call to Drake this morning, telling him, I don't want you to respond to this. You know what I mean? I don't want, we're going to put this to bed. Mm. You know what I mean? We're going to put this to bed because. You know, we can't get in the in the pig pen with with, with, with pigs and then because the pigs turn into hogs and then hogs get slaughtered. And that's not us. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's not his character. You know what I mean? We ain't worked as hard to uh, cheat ourselves over nothing. <laughs> you know what I mean? That right. so that's the way that it is. Sorry about the static in the audio. I'm not sure where that came from, but I'm pretty sure you guys heard what he said. He, like I said, he he said he called Drake, told him to fall back, uh, did the pig pen metaphor, saying that if you get in with pigs, they turn into hogs, and they hogs get slaughtered. That's a metaphor for basically saying, man, we have a lot of money invested in you. We don't want Pusha T to do further damage because right now there's a lot of money at stake that potentially we all could lose. That's basically what he's talking about. That's what basically Jay Prince is talking about. Too much money on the table. You know, he has a lot more to lose than, than push a T, obviously, for obvious reasons. We know that, you know. Um, but yeah, well, well, like I said, you know, I just don't see how Blackface Drake can get himself out of the biggest... <laughs> The biggest depth blow you can think of in a diss track by Pusha T in the story of Adidon, I don't see how he can get dig his way out, you know. And uh, like I said, there's supposed to be some kind of diss track already recorded, according to multiple sources, that the track is rec uh, was re recorded with Lil Wayne. And uh, I, I just, you know, if you do that, you're calling in help. When Pusha T said it himself in the story of Adidon, me versus three hearses, right? When I first saw the line, I didn't know what he meant. And you, you have to, and again, that, that, again, that the, the lyrics, once you read it and, and there's so many meanings behind it, double entendres, triple entendres. It, it's a masterpiece. If you ask me that this record is a masterpiece. It demoralized Drake. It, it, it just it's it just was a death blow. Okay. But the when the, the line he talked about about me versus three hearses, he talked about himself, baby, Wayne, and Drake. So he wants it. And he has ammo, just like he said, surgical summer. He has borne the chamber for Drake, for Wayne, for potentially baby. To come out in hiding, if if Blackface Drake decides to come back and do a diss record to counter the story of Adina, there's more in the chamber. And again, Jay Press is basically saying, "Don't go back and forth with this guy. We got too much money on the table. Uh, I, I don't want to see you go go any further." Now, is that going to stop Drake? I don't think so. 
Uh, I think he'll definitely try to release a, a, another track because Drake is the type of person he's competitive and doesn't like to lose. Uh, that's how he is. Um, but again, going back to that blackface picture, that is an infamy. I will always consider Drake blackface Drake. All right. And for, for me, he for me, you know, because he's biracial, quote unquote biracial, he's able to play both sides of the fence. You know, he was raised by his mom, who was, who was white, classified as white, but Jewish. Raised by his mom. So he can go to the black side if he wants. He can go to his white side if he wants. He can play both sides of the fence. And when he came up before he was an, uh, a rapper, he was an actor. Everybody knows he was in Degrassi. So when that picture was taken, he was acting. And there was no connection to American culture other than what was on TV, magazines, maybe the Internet at that time. So therefore, him watching movies like Bamboozled, perhaps Hollywood Shuffle, um, magazines and, and reading some books. Right. That's how he took that picture of blackface and, you know, that Jim Crow guard, because that's the only connection he has. And according to him. He never experienced racism until he reached America. So at that time, he never experienced racism other than what I just described, you know. So, man, <laughs> Blackface Drake is in for a whole lot of trouble if he decides to respond because Pusha T has things loaded in the chamber. Man, you know what I'm saying? So, here's the article about... Um, Drake and, and um, Lil Wayne doing the track, according to multiple sources, like, just like I said with this source here. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, this Tuesday will be a week since uh, the story of Adidas was released. So they're saying it's supposed to be released this Tuesday. We'll see what happens. But people are telling him to fall back. Jay Prince told him to fall back. Kanye West said it's gone too far. You got people like Ice Cube saying it's gone too far. People like Jules Santana saying it's gone too far. Jay Prince says it's gone too far. You know, listen, in hip hop, in battle rap, there's no such thing as going too far. You watch battle rap, I'm a huge fan of URLs, King of the Dot, you know, all those battle leagues. And I've heard way worse. I've heard people talking about their dead relatives, you know, their, their, having sex with their wives and uh, uh, doing something with their children. I've heard way worse things than what um, Pusha T said, which which was sparked, obviously, by Blackface Drake permissioning his wife out of nowhere. So once you cross that path, you're allowed to go deeper. Once you hit me, I'm allowed to hit you harder, wherever I want to, right? That's how it goes. All right? That's how it goes. So anyway, those are my thoughts on that, family. Leave your comments down below about uh, what Jay Prince has to say. Maybe Kanye, who also said, you know, they need to fall back and it's gone too far. You know, has Pusha T gone too far? Are you looking forward to uh, perhaps a diss track with uh, Drake and Lil Wayne? You know what I'm saying? Let me know down below in the comment section, family. Until next time, make sure you follow me on social media at GMOG Media TV. All right. And also subscribe to my sports channel, GMOG Sports TV. All links are down below in the description. Until next time, family Chauncey, a.k.a. The Black Separatist, signing out. Peace.